This is Audios. In November of 2023, I downgraded this account from an ultimate Ironman to a regular Ironman with one goal in mind. I want to take on the biggest challenges within RuneScape, and I want to obtain the best gear in the game. Follow along on my Ironman progress series. So we've been Turiel boosting, and I just got my 60th task from Duradel, which happens to be Hellhounds. And I think I want to take the time to block this and uh, spend the first bit of Slayer points here because Hellhounds are a super slow task. And realistically, if I want to grind out hard clues, I just need to do that from jellies anyway. So for the time being, this is going to be blocked until we probably unlock Cerberus. So let's see what we get now. All right, so we got Iron Dragons from Daredevil this time, which we're going to be skipping. We're going to be running through a lot of points here. And then the other thing that I want to do is I want to extend Blood Velts because that is one of the best tasks for me. So we're going to extend that and we're going to hope that Duradel gives us Blood Velts, but we'll see what we get. We get Suquas. All right, well, we're losing all of our Slayer points. I don't want to do Suquas because it's going to use so many cannonballs. So I'm about to skip it. Uh, We're down to less than 300 Slayer points. We're going to try this again. And um, let's see what we get this time. Blood Veld, there we go, 200 of them. I will take it. That's a really, really, really good task. Let's go do that. So before starting the Blood Veld task, I went ahead and purchased Bigger and Batter for 150 Slayer points. Well, I just finished my Blood Veld task, but I forgot to show you guys the method that I use. So I'm trying to be a good YouTuber and I'm going all the way back real quick to show you how I did this because I did get very good XP per hour from this task. I ended up getting about 40,000 um, Slayer XP per hour. So this is what I do. So I go ahead and I aggro, and I'm not gonna do a full set of them just to make this quick, but I aggro the Blood Velds like so by using um, some darts real quick. And then if you run to this tile and then you run all the way south, it kind of gets them stacked up in a line. Okay, actually I'm gonna have to aggro this one or this might not work. So it kind of gets them stacked up in a line and then I've got my main account here. Now, you guys have probably seen dancing alts before where you have two people follow each other and it stacks all the NPCs up. Well, I don't wanna pay bonds and everything for two accounts. So on my main account here, I've got entity hider on, so you can't see the uh, blood velds, but I have the tiles marked one, two, three, four, and you can actually just dance by yourself. Oh man. What a loner thing to say. But anyway, yeah, so you can dance by yourself like this. And then I'll show you the other screen. So it's one, two, three, four. And you can kind of see how the blood velds are stacking up nicely. So at that point, once all the blood velds are stacked, I cast Ice Burst. I forgot to mention that. Um, and eventually I will be casting Ice Barrage. But I'm going to be using that exact same method on many different tasks. And I'm not going to break down the whole method every time. I won't bore you that much, but I probably will tell you, hey, I'm going to burst this task. So you'll know you'll be in the loop. You know, I got to keep you guys in the loop. But on another note of keeping you guys in the loop, I just got level 57 Slayer from that, which is a milestone because at level 56, we can kill those new uh, NPCs that drop that new warp staff or whatever that I need to get because I don't have a trident or any really good mage weapon on this account other than an Ivan's freaking staff. So we are now going to go do the path of Gluffery real quick so that we can kill those monsters and try to get the warped scepter. So there is the path of Gluffery completed and that actually gives a lot of really good XP. 20,000 Slayer XP lamp is very nice because um, I need Slayer XP. So we're going to go ahead and use the lamp on strength. And then we're going to use the lamp on Slayer, which I hope gives us a level. Yes, there's level 58 Slayer. And then um, we're also going to use the lamp on Thieving. And then we're going to use the lamp on Magic. So first we're going to go kill these Warped Terror Birds that drop the Warped Scepter at a rate of 1 in 320. And this Scepter is going to be my best in slot Magic weapon until I get the Trident, which is at level 87 Slayer. Well, we are at KC number 174 on the Warped Terror Birds. Nothing to show for it yet, but we did get a couple of hard clues that we got done during the grind. I'll wait and open all of them at the end of this. All right, there is our third hard clue scroll on KC number 209. All right, there is hard clue scroll number four, which I think that these are pretty close in rarity to the drop rate of the Scepter, um, but we're getting clues instead of Scepters, which I guess is fine, but... Um, it, my loot tracker says we're at 268 KC right now. 
but I'm pretty sure that it, it, it quit working for like 40 KC because it said 260 like an hour ago. So I think I'm actually probably like around 300 KC right now. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go do this hard clue and then we'll come back. Well, this is kind of getting out of hand, but there is hard clue scroll numero cinco. I think that's correct. <laughs> Don't fact check my Spanish, but yeah, that's hard clue number five. And I'm pretty sure we can just roll with the KC here. We'll say it's 322, even though I think it's probably like 362. But anyway, um, we are officially over the drop rate. But anyway, we're going to go do this hard clue real quick. And I can't I can't complain about getting hard clues. Oh, my gosh, dude. That is hard clue scroll number six. Holy crap. OK, let's go do this real quick. All right. So we changed up the strategy. I'm getting impatient. We brought the cannon out. And um, I'm still safe spotting that way. I don't have to use like defensive prayers. Um, but yeah, we're going to see if this speeds it up. And I'm hoping I get a collection log pop up so that I don't like miss the drop. But this is what I'm going to do. I think it's going to speed it up quite a bit. Dude. This game is trolling me right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to finish these kills because one of these freaking birds is about to drop the staff. Scepter, whatever it's called, I swear. Like, how is this possible? Okay, clue scroll number seven. Let's go knock it out. Woohoo. And just so everyone knows, I am happy to be getting the clue scrolls. Don't get me wrong. I just also, like, don't want to be killing these birds anymore, man. Like, I just want the scepter. All right, there is casket number seven. And we are heading back to the warped terror birds that I am starting to absolutely hate. Uh, but we are going to use the cannon again, by the way. That actually worked pretty good. So let's go back to them. There's no way. Oh, my gosh. Why? Like, okay. I know I sound like a complainer, but hard clue scroll number eight. Serious. Okay, let's look at the drop right here, folks. I mean, this appears to be... It doesn't say exactly, but it says rare. It's the same category. It, it should be the same drop rate or at least close. What is happening? Well, the good thing about doing all these clues is that I'm getting to build all of the stash units, which is kind of nice. So it'll kind of speed things up in the future. Well, I got in bed last night and I did a little bit more of the warped terror birds from mobile. And you guys are never going to believe what I got. That's right, I got yet another hard clue scroll. So we went ahead and we went and did this. That is casket number nine and still no scepter. Yes, let's go. Finally, it exists, man. We got it. Oh, I'm so happy. We finally got it. Okay, so we got our new scepter here. First and foremost, I'm going to show you guys how many warped terror birds we ended up killing. It looks like 516 was the total tally. So pretty significantly over the drop rate. Um, and then to charge it, what's nice about this is that it doesn't use death runes like the Ivans. It only uses chaos and earth runes, which are very nice for Iron Man. So we're going to charge it up and then we're going to equip it. And it is a one headed one handed mage weapon, um, but it is a charge staff. So I can have my spell book on whatever I want and then we'll watch it in action right here. And the max hit is not as big as the Ivan's, but it has a faster attack speed. And obviously I can use thralls with it. So it is really, really nice. And I'm going to be using this once we get to TOA, hopefully soon. And so finally, the moment that I've been waiting for, we're going to go ahead and open our nine caskets here. I would really like to get a rune heraldic helm or rune heraldic kite shield so that I can use it for the clue step. Um, also a crozier would be nice because I need all those for hard clue steps. Other than that, any boots whatsoever I would be happy with, as well as specifically the Zami boots would be really nice, or just any any god dehide, anything like that in general is going to be good. So let's get started. Okay, first one, we get blue fire lighter. It's a collection log, but uh, not anything good. Um, wow, that's going to be a lot of <laughs> collection logs there. We got three... Firelighters. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. We just got the Armadil Coif. Okay, sweet. I think that's actually my first Armadil piece, maybe. So, very nice. Very nice. Off to a good start. We're going to open the next one. Nothing. Okay, six clues left. Nothing on that one. Ooh, 
yes, dude. That is so good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yes, we got ancient dehyde boots. Yes, that is my new best in slot range boots and also with it being ancient that is actually useful if we ever make it to next oh that's so good all right let me let me bank some of this stuff real quick okay four clues left oh very nice we got a ceridoman page i'll take it i wonder if the clan's like what the heck is going on sheesh this guy's clogging <laughs> all right three clues left uh nothing there two left Master Clue. Highly, highly, highly doubt I can do it, but I will check real quick. Okay, so we could not do the Master Clue. We've got one clue left. Let's see what we get. Ah, nice. Zamorak Full Helm. Sweet. So we kind of got a little bit of everything on as far as God Dehyde goes. By far the best drop here, though, was the Ancient Dehyde Boots. Like, that is so, so good. I am so happy to see that. So up next on the to-do list, I would like to get a black mask, just like the champion that you can see right here. Um, in order to do that, we need to go do cabin fever so that we can kill cave horrors, and then cave horrors drop it at a rate of 1 in 512. So let's get to it. Before we can do cabin fever, we need to do rum deal as well as pirate's treasure, and before we can do rum deal, we have to do zogre flesh eaters. So we have a lot of questing to do, and we're going to get to it. All right, there is Pirate's Treasure completed. We get this weird casket with a ring and an emerald in it. Okay, so there is Rum Deal completed. We got the Holy Wrench from that, which is actually pretty useful. And um, now we're going to go knock out Cabin Fever. All right, so there is Cabin Fever completed. And now we can go kill Cave Horrors to get the Black Mask. Well, the Cave Horror grind is off to a great start. And wouldn't you know it, the first drop that I see that I get from them is, of course... A hard clue scroll. Here we go again. We went and got that casket, and then a few kills later, guess what? We got ourselves another hard clue. All right, so there is clue scroll number three. Um, I think I am seeing a trend. Let's go do this real quick. All right, there is casket number three. Let's get back to the cave horse. I'll tell you what, I'm actually getting kind of quick at doing these uh, clues now. I've got a bank tab set up and everything for them, so I guess it's good in the long run. Well, just an update on the cave horrors. It's been quite a while since I've gotten a clue or anything here, but we are at 377 KC, just so y'all know. So just about almost 400 KC. So we are approaching the drop rate. Of course, we have not got the mask yet, but as always, we're going to get it right here on this cave horror right now. Okay, no potato seeds. Yes, dude. Oh my gosh. I was about to teleport out. I was literally about to teleport out. I'm out of food, but I thought, you know what? Let's just do a few more kills and it paid off. We got the black mask. Let's go. Okay. So up next, we are going to use our scroll of imbuing on the black mask and we have a black mask imbued, which is a lot of people's favorite looking item in the game. I think it's kind of weird looking, but anyway, and the reason that this is so good is because, as you can see right here from the wiki, it gives an addition of 15% uh, bonus to ranged accuracy and strength, as well as 15% uh, bonus to magic accuracy and magic damage, which is huge. And then also it gives a 17% bonus to melee accuracy and strength. So basically it's just a massive DPS upgrade. Of course, this is only when you're killing a Slayer monster uh, that you are assigned, but um, it is it is a massive, massive, massive upgrade. So um, this is gonna make the Slayer grind a lot faster, a lot better, a lot more efficient. And now we need to get back to that Slayer grind. It was a very long break. I thought it would be quick, just getting the scepter and the mask, but no, that took forever. However, before we go and we do that, we've got three caskets to open, so let's get to it. Ooh, we get ourselves a quick little collection log pop-up, the Zamorak plate body to match the helmet we got earlier. Two caskets left. Ooh, the Rune Helm G. I don't know if that's rare or not, but I'll take it. Very cool. And finally, a nut. Look at, dude. Are you kidding me? We got four uniques and three caskets. That is so nice. We got the Sarah plate legs 
and the bandos page. Uh, let's go. That's really good. So just a quick recap of all the collection log slots we got from our clues today. Um, at least 12 that I have on my screen right here. We got the two rune helms, the rune plate, the rune legs. We got the Ceridoman page and the bandos page three. The Armadale Coif, the Ancient Dehyde Boots, and then four Firelighters. So 12 collection log slots, and I think that was our 21st hard clue. So overall, I think our luck has been pretty good. Well, all the fun is over. It's time to get back to the Slayer grind. So we're swapping our spellbook over. Oops. I just wasted an Astral Rune. I'm supposed to uh, NPC contact a Turiel right now, not Duradale, but... Anyway, we're going to go do nine Turiel tasks, and I'll let y'all know when we're on task number 70 with Duradil. Well, we are about to get our 70th task from Duradaddy, but before I do that, I want to get Lizardman Shaman unlocked, which I know is probably like not the smartest thing to do for me right now, but um, I do want to get a Dragon Warhammer eventually, so I would rather do it um, while doing Slayer because it can actually give me 785,000 Slayer XP if I get it on drop rate, which, you know, who knows. But anyway, that's how I'm going to do my Dragon Warhammer. I'm never going to just go camp Lizardman Shaman. I'm just going to try and get it passively from Slayer. Okay, time for task number 70. Let's see what we get. Iron Dragons. That's going to be a big skip. There it is, Lizardman Shaman. All right, so we're going to go kill these and hope we get spooned the Dragon Warhammer. Okay, this was actually like kind of stupid because I didn't think about the fact that you can't use a black mask on them. You have to have a Slayer Helm. But whatever, I'm just going to do it anyway. I mean, if we get Spoon, I'm going to look like a genius. If I don't, then I'm going to look like a total idiot. Well, I'm thinking Lizardman Shaman would be a lot more enjoyable if I had Antidote++ plus plus rather than using these super anti-poisons. So I'm going to go take a little break and do some Zolro right quick. Um, it drops the Antidotes at a rate of, I believe, like 1 in 13 or something like that. So um, it shouldn't be too hard to get it. So we're going to go kill some Zolro real quick. All right, there's KC number 3. We get some manta rays, which I will happily take, um, but no antidotes. Kill count number four. What do we get? We get some snapdragons. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, I'll be honest. Um, Zora kicked my butt a little bit. It's, it's kind of just tough doing the boss when you don't have like a serp helm or something. The venom, I think it, the, the damage that it does just really stacks up. So it's hard to get more than one kill on a trip and... You just take a lot of damage, especially without having a Ring of Suffering, but oh well. Collection log, we got Zolandra Teleports, uh, which is kind of nice. Just give me the freaking antidote and I'll be on my way, man. That is our first two-kill trip, which I'm kind of happy about, even though um, we still didn't get any antidotes, which is the only thing we're here for. All right, well, this did not go as planned because we are almost out of charges on our crystal armor, and we only have enough charges for one final kill, which really sucks, um, but we're going to go ahead and send it, and we're going to see if we can get the antidotes. I thought this would be a quick little thing, but clearly not. Okay, possibly our last kill. Not a good night of PVM, folks. Um, not only am I out of crystal shards now and can't use my crystal armor, I'm also out of range bots, so yeah, I'm running over to this dungeon here where you telegraph the wines in the wilderness. I've got my looting bag. I'm going to get some wines, um, but yeah, all in all, bad session tonight. Bad, bad, bad session tonight. All right, well, at least this is something I can feel good about on the evening. We got a lot of wines of Zamorak, which is nice. So I went back to the Lizardman Shaman, and I used this little method where you kind of run back and forth the Lizardman Temple. It seemed to go pretty well. I mean, I honestly feel like there's probably a better way to be doing these, but for this first task, it went pretty good. And uh, without the Slayer Helm, too, I didn't really have too many issues. And then around KC number 100, I got a drop that you do not want to see. I got the Curved Bone, which for those of you who don't know, that is a 1 in 5,016 drop rate. And the Dragon Warhammer is a 1 in 5,000 drop rate, so not ideal. All right, well, the Lizardman Shaman task is completed. We unfortunately did not get the Dragon Warhammer, um, but I'm kind of excited right now just to get back to Turiel boosting because that was a pretty long task. Um, I had a little bit of AFK time, 
So I did a little bit more smithing to get some more cannonballs. Um, but anyway, we are going to go do nine Turial task as always. And then after that, we are going to go do our one task at Duradil. Well, that is another nine Turial task down. Now we're going to get a task from Duradil for task number 80. We get blood veld 230 of them that is very good that's gonna be super good xp so we're gonna go knock that out right now all right well we just got our spell book swapped over to ancients and i forgot my freaking rune pouch like a dum dum i've got my main here though we're gonna be doing the exact same strategy as last time the only difference is i have the book of the dead now which is my best offhand mage uh gear i guess and i've got my black mask of course Ladies and gentlemen, the gains were absolutely disgusting on this task. Um, I averaged about 57,000 Slayer XP per hour and 123,000 Magic XP per hour. So absolutely incredible task. I started at level 59 and got well past level 61 during this task. So all in all, I am so glad I extended Vells because this is like the best task ever. All right, there is hard clue scroll number two. So we're going to grab that and go do it real quick. Take a quick break from the gains. Very unfortunate. We got the step that I can't do because I don't have a rune heraldic helm. And I'm on step five of this clue. So it was guaranteed casket on the next one, but I can't do it. However, I do have a couple of hard caskets in the bank. So I'm going to go ahead and open them because who knows, maybe we'll get spooned uh, a rune heraldic helm on these. Um, oh, we got the shield. Oh, I needed that too. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's really good. That unlocks one of the tasks. Um, but unfortunately it's not the helm. We got one more shot at it. What do we get? We got a Guthrick stole. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go turn this into Watson. I don't think there's any other option for me at this point. So I'm going to give it to Watson someday down the road. I'll turn it into a master, but for now I can't do this clue. Well, I have to change my spell book back, but you know I'm not going to uh, miss out on an opportunity to get a little bit of XP along the way, so we are cutting our red topaz during the long run. Speaking of red topaz, I'm going to be needing a lot of it in order to train Slayer efficiently, so I think I'm going to work on the Karamja Hard Diary so that I have access to the gem mine so I can get more red topaz. Oh, I got the gout. Did I really get it? How do I, how do I get it? I think I just got the gout tuber, bro. I've been, dude, I have literally been here for like five minutes. I, I literally didn't know. I, I was bored. I was like, you know, maybe we'll get spooned. I just got the gout tuber. All right. Well, according to Runelight Quest Helper, we just simply talk to this guy here. Yes. I'd like to get a machete um get a gym machete so i guess i'm gonna go opal order the machete okay all right please please tell me we got the task okay we got it done sweet so now that that is out of the way i basically have no excuse not to go do the karamja easy medium and hard diaries because i have all the requirements so we're gonna go do that real quick all right, there is the easy diary completed. Now we're going to do the medium. All right, and there's the medium diary completed onto the hard. All right, I believe this is the final task here to craft a nature rune. There it is. The hard Karamja diary is completed. Let's go claim our rewards. All right, so let's talk to pirate the Jackie something fruit person and let's get our rewards why don't we so first one we get okay um i was gonna try and like go through the rewards but he talks in this pirate language and it's really hard to understand what's even going on so i'm uh, not really sure what i got for the easy uh, except for an xp lamp for the medium let's see what we get looks like we get more tickets to the agility arena okay and then finally the hard diary um, let's see what we get. Yeah, so I think this is the one that's really good for Iron Man that if we need to buy an Onyx or whatever, it allows us to um, get more Tockle, something like that. Uh, and also, we can now teleport straight to the gem mine. So let's see what that looks like. And there we are. So this is going to be really good to get Red Topaz and everything. Um, however, before we move on, we've got three beautiful antique lamps here. XP lamps, if you will. And uh, I, I am going to probably ruffle some feathers here, but 
but I'm going to be putting this on Slayer, all three of them. Right now, it's by far like my slowest XP per hour. And with my herb lore already being at 74, I have X access to staminas and everything that I really need. And I'm pretty close to being able to boost for brews. So I've thought about this quite a bit and this is what I'm going to be doing. So go ahead and drop a dislike on the video if you must. But there you have it. Um, that's 16,000 Slayer XP. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the decision. Well, completing the Karamja diary has me kind of wanting to do some more diaries. So I'm working on Native in my RQ right now um, because this is my last quest that I need in order to do the Mauritania hard diary. All right, there is an aid of a Myra Q completed. I don't think we got any levels or anything from that. Um, but we're going to go do the hard achievement task. And I think we can actually also start Sins of the Father right here. So I might go ahead and start that because it's definitely something I want to get done soon. Okay, so we just picked some bitter cap mushrooms. And we also did a hard temple trek, which were two of the hard tasks. Uh, we're going to go do the Great Brain Robbery quest now so that we can do the watermelon task. And also, I also haven't done the easy and medium diaries, so I'm going to get those done too. All right, so there is the Great Brain Robbery completed. Um, I don't think anything really noteworthy, but we did get an XP lamp. And yet again, I'm going to be putting that on Slayer. So just about level 62 Slayer from that. Okay, so we just picked some bitter cap mushrooms and we also did a hard temple trek, which were two of the hard tasks. Uh, we're going to go do the great brain robbery quest now so that we can do the watermelon task. And also, I also haven't done the easy and medium diaries, so I'm going to get those done too. All right, so there is the great brain robbery completed. Um, I don't think anything really noteworthy, but we did get an XP lamp. And yet again, I'm going to be putting that on Slayer. So just about level 62 Slayer from that. All right, there is the Mauritania easy diary done. Now let's go do the medium and the hard. Well, I'm sitting here AFKing for the Mauritania medium diary because I have to do one game of trouble brewing. And I just had the thought that, you know, I've got 10 minutes. Maybe I should just go ahead and upload this video right now because the content that I'm about to start, I kind of want it to be in its own episode. So stay tuned for that. But I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video right here. And I'm going to get the medium and hard diaries done first thing in episode 15. Um, however, I did want to ask your opinion real quick before ending this. I noticed that the video that I posted that was like as long as this one has my most views yet. And I'm just curious to know if you guys prefer shorter, more frequent uploads or, uh, you know, less frequent, but much longer episodes, because I personally do like long episodes of other series that I watch. But I also I, I think I have a, a point where it's too long and I won't watch it, which is probably like anything above 30 minutes. But anyway, just throwing that out there. Let me know in the comments which you prefer. Um, so I can kind of tailor the videos to you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in episode 15. Adios.